Parkland School Division became involved in the Resiliency Initiative primarily because of our ultimate goal of student success and well-being. If students are stronger and are well mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, that they're going to be more successful uh, with their studies. If we have healthy children coming to school, they, the, the, the learning will be that much greater, the engagement will be that much stronger, um, the opportunities for kids will be that much greater. We know that in this world today, uh, the ability to bounce back from things that happen to us in life um, is an important piece of us being able to be able to go on with our life and to handle what life has to give us. Because of the comprehensive school health approach, we're teaching teachers to let kids move because it actually enhances their learning. We're teaching teachers to bring nutritious food into the schools because it's actually going to keep the kids learning. These things are not set up so that academic outcomes are put on the side of the table. They're set up to enhance the academic outcomes. With this initiative, we don't see it as a project or something that's going to be short term. We want to keep it around until it's just the way that things are done. These initiatives are making a huge impact on Duffield School and the school community. Everybody is wanting to get involved and everybody is actually becoming aware of it. Students in the school are eating healthier and like being more active in the morning. These kids are amazing. When you give kids the chance, they really show you what you can do. Kids this age can start changing the world, and that's what we're trying to teach them with Justice League. Kindergarten to grade six, um, teachers included, we, um, we do uh, Mellow Monday Yoga. The fact that it's um, scheduled into our time, it's something that's important and valued and that we want to continue to do here, and it's so beneficial to the kids. This year we decided to focus more on health because our fitness has kind of skyrocketed. We are going to hopefully bring in a kind of a healthy food exchange. Kids who can't afford or just their parents don't put healthy things in their lunch all of the time, they can come to school and they can exchange it for something healthy on a certain day. We're doing Kids in the Kitchen right now. Uh, kids in the Kitchen, we've cooked pizzas today, so the kids have all put veggies on their pizzas and used uh, whole grain pizzas. Kids love it. Kids love, uh, especially Kids in the Kitchen. I get asked all the time, when's our next Kids in the Kitchen? What are we cooking? What are we doing? Teachers are involved. Uh, it's been great. Lots of times kids are quite um, prone to have very um, low action activities at recess. I have students that come in and they talk about some of the games that they're playing and uh, they seem to be um, kind of getting more into the habit of, of being active at recess, which is uh, one of our ultimate goals. So they're understanding what nutrition does, what it does for their bodies and helps with their minds and their physical activity. And it's also carrying over into them understanding how that helps them concentrate better in, in school and do better at school as a whole. In a lot of these programs, the kids are so excited to come because they get to do something and they feel like they belong and they're part of a group. At our school here, we have uh, a lot of opportunity to be outside and, and to, to, to do a lot of things that are physically active for the kids. They are able to come out and enjoy the nice forest that you see around you here today. Uh, we have big fields and uh, just a lot of opportunity to be outside. I think that, I mean, there's been lots of research around that physical well-being is related directly to children's ability to achieve in the classroom, but also just around the obesity rates and, and the, the inactivity of children currently in Canada and North America that it's really important for the school to have a role because they spend most of their day uh, in a classroom 
and they go home and, and that's a really good chance for the school system to influence their choices and, and even just give them an opportunity to access activity that they might not have. One of the things we look at is that a library isn't a standalone um, organism anymore. We function as a member of the community just the way that the school district is realizing that the school is not an isolated organism but it functions as a member of the community. So as we, it takes a village to raise a child. In terms of the library and my role there, I do see it as one of the ways of outreaching to the community and that we all work towards the greater good of the community, making Stony Plain and the Parkland County area a better place to be. Service Credit Union is directly involved with the Produce Passport and the Healthy Lunch Program um, that um, is involved with Longman School and uh, Parkland Village School. And we also are um, volunteers for Junior Achievement and then we have many after-school activities as well. Students are really appreciative that teachers are blending their practices with lots of different styles of learning. Just talking about wellness and uh, bringing partners together and looking at how we can improve the health of kids from a breakfast program, from a, a mentor program, from um, working with parents in the community to develop programs for uh, home and school programs. All of these initiatives are important to ensure our kids are successful, so that has raised the awareness and that's one of the most successful things of the initiative. Parents are really appreciative uh, of the way that the schools have stepped in to support them in this wellness approach to living because they're taking some of what uh, we are bringing into the schools and then using it also at home. I believe there's great interest in our health services and uh, other organizations because we're looking to be proactive. And the more proactive we are in keeping our kids healthy, uh, the less cost, the less challenge will be for healthcare down the road, and uh, the greater success our kids will have in the future. Parkland School Division, where the world opens up.